Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another episode of Now That's What I Call a Music Review. And this week, thanks to the comment from Music Sounds Better, we're going to be looking at Now That's What I Call a Song, and Now That's What I Call a Singer. So these two albums are quite strange, really. I mean, Now That's What I Call a Song. I mean, isn't all music a song, technically? And Now That's What I Call a Singer, well, if it's not an instrumental, sure, but I'm pretty sure most songs have singers to them. So at first glance, these seem like very bizarre albums to release, and almost a bit pointless. I mean, when these first came out, I didn't pick them up, so I thought, what's the point? Obviously, in hindsight, I have, and hopefully in this video, you'll find out why I have. So I think we'll start first and foremost with the first one that came out of the two, Now That's What I Call a Song. Now That's What I Call a Song. So here's the front cover, all nice and blue, with some old-timey microphones up there. Now, this came out in 2015. There is the spine for you in a yellow font. And here is your track list. So, on CD1, again, it's got a bit of different font. You got a lot of modern hits at the time. You can see all of me there, Budapest, Just The Way You Are. A lot of things from the past five years. And I think that's what the majority of this first disc takes up, really. But then you get odd ones like that, In For The Kill by LaRue. A bit older there. Alexandra Burke, Hallelujah, was about 2008. So, disc one here is mainly modern songs, if you will. If now that's what I call a song, is living up to that title. Let's have a look at CD2, so you've got Let It Go, which was still everywhere. Rule the World, see now we're going a bit further back, we're going back to maybe the early 2000s here with some of these, some late 90s songs as well. But again, most of these are songs you have probably heard of before. And finally, CD3 claims to be the classics. So starting with Killing Me Softly, so here we are really going to the 90s. 90s songs here, some late 90s, early 2000s stuff as well. There you go, and this came out in 2015, and again, I have a bit of an issue with this CD3, the classics, because if this, if CD1 is like, you know, 2010 songs, if CD2 is early 2000 songs, CD3 also has early 2000 songs and some 90s ones as well, so it's really determining how far back the classics are going, so that's up for debate there. Let's have a look at the discs, shall we? So as you can see, Now 90 is out now, so this would have been released just after Now 90's release, to so say the spring of 2015. There is the first disc. I do like this sort of minimalistic style of two colours and the oranges making up the microphones, that's neat. As you can see, they sort of adapt the same thing, so where we have blue and orange, you have orange and red, and now you have red and orange. So yeah, those are your three, now that's what I call a song, discs. In terms of favourite songs, well, I'd, CD3 is probably the best disc out of the three, I mean, Killing Me Softly with this song by the Fugees has always been a favourite of mine. Also, My Heart Will Go On, things like that. Sacrifice by Elton John. Somewhere on the We Know by Keen. A lot of the classic songs actually probably are classic to me, but CD 1 and 2 are good, but here's my thing. With Now That's What I Call a Song, if you have any of the mainstream numbered nows from, say, now, from like 85 up to 90, then you'll probably own most of the songs that are on disc 1 and the majority of songs on disc 2 as well. So unless you're going for like a complete now collection and you just want, say, the main numbered series and a few spin-offs, I would probably pass on now that's what I call a song. But for those who are interested, this was a £5 purchase from a CEX store, so they're still readily available. I think you still can get them from some HMVs, but probably the bigger ones. Now has a tendency, after a few years, they'll dispense of selling these albums in shops. That's now that's what I call a song. So let's swiftly move on to now that's what I call a singer. Now that's what I call a singer. Let's take a look at the cover here. Get a nice little podium with a microphone there. I do sort of like this podium design and all the different colours used. It's not too bad. There's your look at the spine. And let's have a look at the all important track list. So, CD1, kicking it off with Amy Winehouse. Again, this instantly has more variety, like you've got Elton John, you've got Elvis Presley going way back, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye. So already this album is a lot better, I think, at the variety. It's not just, as you can see, the first disc is not just songs from the last five years, it's songs from a whole variety of decades. Here's CD2, bit of classic Michael Bublé there. You've got things from Billy Joel, Sade, Luther Vandross, Anastasia. Lots of variety once more. And then CD3, 
Frank Sinatra, Fly Me to the Moon. What a great song. So if you're a big fan of Sinatra's voice, this has one for you here. Otis Redding, great singer as well. Leanne Rimes, Bonnie Tyler, Lionel Richie, Carol King, all these sorts of people, you know. And there are your three discs. And this, again, came out in 2015. And as I said, I think this already has a much greater variety than now. That's what I call a song. Just the amount of artists and songs from different decades here is really astounding. They must have learned the mistakes from this and improved it vastly. Let's take a look at the discs. Look at that. Speaking of sing, out now. Sing along to all your favourite now hits on PS4 and Xbox One. Now that's what I call sing. Requires a USB microphone to play. From what I've gathered, this is basically SingStar. Remember that old series, SingStar on the PS2? This is SingStar, but under the Now brand. There is actually an album called Now That's What I Call Sing, which would be interesting to check out one day. So here's the first disc, very minimalistic, whereas I like the sort of cool designs on Now That's What I Call a Song. You've just got this here. And disc two and three aren't doing much different, just a different color shade. So yeah, those are your three discs. Nothing too exciting. And that, in a nutshell, is Now That's What I Call a Singer. Favourite songs, I mean, What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. I do like Fly Me to the Moon, as I said before. Home by Michael Bublé. I mean, there's so many great songs on here. If you just want an album that has a good amount of variety on its own, then out of the two, I'd definitely go for Now That's What I Call a Singer. Whereas this had the problem of not being diverse enough, this has a great amount of diversity on it. And look past the title, as stupid as the title is, there's a great amount of content for you here. This was a, another £5 purchase from CEX, so it is readily available. Some HMVs may have it, or if not, you could probably get it off Amazon, eBay for cheap, all those sorts of sites. And that, in a nutshell, is now that's what I call a singer. So overall, out of these two albums, which, in my opinion, reigns supreme? Well, if you've made it this far, it's probably no doubt in your head that now that's what I call a singer, I think, is the better album. Even though both titles are equally stupid, at least if you're going to display songs or singers, this displays singers from a multitude of eras, not just the past 10 years of music. Whereas this one mainly falls into that trap. I think the furthest back song on there stretches back to, I don't know, 1990-something probably. You know, it doesn't very much back in that. Here you've got stuff from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, etc. So if you had to pick out the two, I'd go for now. That's what I call a singer. So for now, but in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching this video. Please leave a like, leave your comments down below on what your favourite songs from these are. Subscribe to the channel. Please click that bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. And until the next one, I will see you all next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show. And a special thank you to Macra, Jen Samantha Pringle, JPK Live, Anna Art, Adam Martin's Biggest Fan, Max Jackson, Kelly is Live, Tracy Smith, Britney Fan 1999, Hooks Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, The Welsh Lady, Tage in the Video Editor 820, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kitsumanoid, and Cooking at Nans and DIY, our AMTV staff members.